Hello and welcome to Rim DeLorean episode 3. You might notice that there is a uh, exponential difference between how we ended the last episode and where we are now. The reason behind that is I made a goof. Um, I play on an ultra wide monitor and I discovered that recording on that ultra wide uh, monitor aspect ratio uh, doesn't work super well, um, mostly because I can't take full advantage of it right now, uh, with basically my, not my recording software, OBS is fine, but my editing software, uh, can't handle it on the free version, so it ends up making the videos look worse than they already are in 720p. Um, so there's a couple points where the episode was really, I wouldn't quite say laggy, but we were at a point where there was just a ton of pawns, and it did, okay, I guess you can just straight up call it laggy. Um, so that's what ended up happening, and the game kind of seized up a couple of times so in doing so whenever it minimizes and reopens it goes back to that default uh, ultra wide setting which I did not realize until it was too late um, so all the recordings were super zoomed in and not great and I'm not gonna go through and redo all that um, Nothing overly crazy happens. Uh, we weren't raided by anything. Uh, Illyria is now a yeoman, as you can see. Aegis continued the quest line for Caravan Adventures, which included talking to this tree where it spoke of ancient powers and spells of the Force to help defeat a uh, long-forgotten evil. Um, if we go to the world here, and we go to the old Sparrow Forest, not Fortress, uh, there's a shrine that might have another spell located there. Um, it's a bit of a distance, and we are in no hurry to get there, so I'm not going to worry about doing that right now. Um, beyond that, another thing that happened is we had this shuttle crash up here. Um, four people crashed in the shuttle. We have Greylight, who was a new Mandoa member. Uh, he was rescued and decided to join Clan Bash. Uh, after all, they are his ideology, so it makes sense. But more interestingly is we have this Mark Batista here, who is of the way the Mandalore, so he... He was a Death Watch member, and uh, he also decided to join us when we saved him. So we got those two new additions. Uh, we built Skull a little bedroom, and we're working on another bedroom here. And we got a power plant going. It's all solar right now, but we will expand into other means of... Oh, jeez. Other means of... Power generation. Um, looks like microelectronics is done. We have also researched the needs for creating Mandalorian armor. And to that effect, <clears throat> you can't see it right now because he's in the bed, but Skull has a set of ARC trooper gear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Aegis was using it for a little bit, but we decided, or he decided not to, because he wants to, you know, don the armor of his heritage and his people, that being of Mandalorian armor. So we are converting this area over here into a workshop slash factory. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to set up its own power grid. I, I probably will. Um, and I'll just leave what's down here and then any windmills or perhaps water mills, hydroelectric is another option since we've got this nice river. Um, 
I'll leave these to kind of power what's over here. So the houses, the farms. Um, as far as what's on the docket still to build is we need to build a church for the ideology. Uh, and then we also need to get a hospital going because we have been getting inundated with just injured people falling from the sky. And it, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, so other than that, there hasn't been too much else that's been going on. Uh, one colonist for five days. Okay, so he's going to send a shuttle. Honestly, we could do that just so we aren't blowing through our food reserves. And then grab these galactic credits. We'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and send your uh, send your uh, shuttle there. We'll send Batista. It's interesting because it states that he is a android, but if you look at him, clearly he's of the uh, Sith race from Swotor. So that's pretty weird and fascinating. Uh, eventually we will build a geothermal vent uh, power plant right there. In fact, let's go to our research tree. We got microelectronics. Uh, let's see, I think. So we need a multi analyzer. Multi analyzer. Okay, so we need to get machining. Uh, Batista. He's mining. Maybe we won't send him. Let's grab this, put him on that. Let's take a look at oh, what we have. Mine. Maybe we should send. I don't want to send four loam. I think we can probably send Skull. Where did that thing land? Right here. Skull? You go ahead and go. And while he's gone, we'll just give uh, Batista his bed. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, I, I do apologize. We missed out on some craziness. Really, the only craziness was the Sacrileg battle in which, uh, if we go to the world map here, you'll see down here it states that there's a destroyed settlement. Um, they sent, the mechanoids sent like 50... Um, Anywhere between 50 and 100 units, mostly comprised of centipedes, scythers, and lancers. Um, it did not go well. Aegis was able to make it out alive. Uh, he used up all the rockets in his rocket launcher. I don't even know if he scored any kills from that, actually. Uh, oh, the galactic credits. Sweet. Sweet. I really got to figure out what's causing this to lag. It happens every time I come around. I'm wondering if it's because of the food issue. I noticed over here that there's a problem with food and the graphics. So we might have some overriding uh, stuff with the food here. Something to look into. That's the only thing that really sticks out to me at the moment. So if anybody has any ideas, do let me know. But um, I will pull us back in whenever we have something else going on. And uh, see you back shortly. Alright, we're back. A um, couple other things, I suppose. I did not show you guys 
these individuals in depth, really. But Avok Greylight, he is a country lord. <coughs> excuse me, was a country lordling, and is now a listener. Whatever that means. Uh, very good with animals, so we can use him to handle a rancor if we ever get a rancor. So that's always fun. Um, he's more prone to mental breaks, and he's just not very smart. Even though he's got an intellectual level of seven, we'll probably just use him to craft drugs whenever we get those. Uh, and he's also absent-minded, so sometimes he won't listen to me when I manually have him do a task. Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem, and hopefully he'll end up growing some better traits, but... Otherwise, he's pretty bad as a colonist, but the extra set of hands helps. I have him doing unskilled labor, like making these slate blocks, because it's easy. And then this guy, <clears throat> got an iron stomach. He's an ocean lover, so he's going to get a, good, a nice mood buff from being next to that big river. He is a wimp, though. So, that might be why he possibly left that way of the Mandalorian Death Watch, because he wasn't quite cut out for it. But he's got really good artistic and really good combat skills, ironically. For now, we just have him focusing on mining. But, um, <clears throat> it looks like Forlom has reached... 20 intellect. Very nice. Very nice. So he's a legendary master. Which means he's going to be uh, really pushing through these research projects. Tattered appear. Oh, tattered. I thought I said tainted for a second. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of a little insight into the new two individuals and for this guy I think we're gonna call him HK 51 now I want to get rid of that because he to me looks like an HK series droid so I figured we might as well rename him to something a little bit more apt. And yeah, um, over here we have a basic fabricator set up to be built. Um, we do have some hypertech components. I was able to buy some. And for this, let's see, that's one, two, uh, five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, and then we want a door. I think a simple steel door would be fine. Actually, we'll put it right there. And we'll put that there. So, this should be coming together. I'll probably end up redoing the floors in here, but I'm not super concerned about it right now. But yeah, we'll uh, return when this fabricator is done and take a look and see what we can build with it. Maybe we can get some Mandalorian stuff going. Alright folks, we're back and we have a true test of might. Nine man-hunting Persian cats. You know, <clears throat> my parents have a Persian cat. Actually, it's a rag doll. To me, they're kind of the same thing, but let's see, who should we have take care of this? HK51, you're our man, or robot. Adventure to the Locked Vault. Okay, so that is for the Ancients vanilla expansion uh, Batista you uh, wanna you wanna leave 
Which direction are you going? Are you going around this way? Yeah, looks like it. I think we got nine of these things. All right, should be rounding about the corner. Yep, that one's down. Dead. This is terrifying. Run and gun, please. What an epic match of the ages. Looks like this one's trying to flank from behind. All right. Um, unfortunately, since these guys have Scaria, which is effectively rabies, if we cannot cure them, it would be nice to kind of have some cats running around, but unfortunately, that is not going to be an option for us. There's a nice hat. Little cop hat. And here's just one off. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's that. This is done. There's going to be a nice little barracks. Well, almost done. I didn't realize the lights I put in there were dark lights, but I don't think that matters too much. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Rebuffed by, I swear, everybody in this colony has been rebuffed by Lyria. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. Well, that was fun. Oh, the uh, cotton plants are finally done growing, so we got enough cloth to last for a long time. I know these fields are pretty big, but honestly, they've been pretty key to keeping us going as far as food goes we've not had to pop into our packaged survival meals at all really we've just been focused on these simple meals which will eventually rot but <clears throat> in fact i can probably put a pause on this for now let them go through those before we worry about making more so yeah it's just a little update this section hasn't been touched yet we'll get there um, they've mostly been focused on getting this done and we'll probably put our power battery supplies it's basically our power station should be coming up pretty soon as well but uh, yeah, uh, that, that is our update for now, and we'll see you all back here shortly. Thank you. Real quick, um, Illyria is becoming the armorer of the colony. She, as far as I am aware, has the best social outside of Aegis. So I think the armor role will suit her well. She'll be able to uh, hopefully convert HK and Batista. And we also had a weapon drop down here. Oh yeah, we got this crate dragon as well. I found it interesting because I thought they would have a really high minimum handling skill, but they only got a 9. And for fantasy dragons, I think their minimum handling skill is like a 12. Somewhere around there. And I think we have a worm. Yeah, we also got a worm here. This one has a handling skill of 9 as well. It wouldn't be bad to have one of those. Um, to eat the corpses of our enemies. <laughs> that would be pretty amusing. It would save us a lot of power at least. Because those cremators are hungry, hungry, hungry for your power. Um, but yeah, once we got a successful role change, very nice, and, uh, which of you, 
Which of you has 79% versus 100? Batista. I think we're going to convert Batista first. But, um, yeah, the order of operations here is to get this online and going, and then we need to finish our power station, and then finally, I think... The next thing we need to build is our church. Um, this can be swapped to a hospital when in need. Uh, but for now, we don't need it as a hospital. We just use it as a uh, barracks. Actually, which reminds me, uh, let's unsuspend this. Because there is a quest... It ends in 10 hours, and we're going to accept this for our charity. <coughs> now, I've in the past had these types of missions stab me in the back. Hostile force? Oh. Looks like we finally got a raid coming. Combat power 202. What's our combat power? 204 on settlement points. We should be fine. Um, on the bright side, we do have a droid here who won't need to sleep. Although we don't have a way to charge his energy. <coughs> I guess he can charge off the uh, solar panels. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's take a look at what these guys have to offer. Firstly, machining is done. Excellent. The refugees are here. They'll be here for 12 days. Uh, let's slap that point into there. Valeria, let's bump up your charisma. And your con strange drop pod. What? Really weird life? Ter oh. Uh. I've not had that happen before, so I don't know what it's going to be or what it's going to do. I kind of want to let it. We'll claim it. Creeping vines and weird creatures emerged from it. Seems to be some kind of terraforming. We can destroy it and avoid... Re oh! Or wait until its work is done. I kind of want to let it do its thing and see what happens. <clears throat> we got a uh, cool chocobo over here. Black and red. Very cool. I wish the vehicles mod would get finished so we could have speeder bikes and everything. Um, we do have some Mandalorian style certs. These guys are absolute garbage at harvesting. Alright, uh, let's take a look. Bio. Okay, I mean, he's bad, but not the worst. Oh, we got a miner. Thank God. So, Salinas, we will slap you on Mining 1. First, gotta get them all on this. There we go. Pike, let's take a look at you. You're good at shooting. Do you have a gun? You do not. Otherwise, you're pretty middling. You're a fisherman. We need to build a uh, food storage plant, I think. You're also really good at mining. So we'll have you mine as well. Honestly, we need it. Um, if you hear meows in the background, don't mind that. That's just the cat. He was being a turd earlier, so he's... Stuck in a 
stuck in his crate for the moment. But he'll be let out here shortly. Uh, yeah, so we got that going on, and we'll be back to see what this does in just a moment. Okay. I saw what this thing does, and it literally pooped out a cactipine. So it is just going to generate enemy monsters. So we'll go ahead and have HK51 take care of it. Should be pretty simple. I'm hoping. Another thing we need to do is build a training yard. That is imperative. We could probably put it right here. We'll have the uh, Church of Mandoa right here, and then the training yard here, and then we got the blacksmith, effectively. The, the galactic blacksmith right here. I like that. As far as this thing goes, we'll probably just have somebody deconstruct it. Are you having trouble? Alright, you know what? You're fine. You can go. Let's see. Okay, you built those. I'm going to have you deconstruct this. Because that is important. And Valeria, where are you? You are here. Can I have you try and convert? Where is Batista? Here you are. Convert Batista for me. I don't think we're actually going to convert him completely, but it would be nice. And now that we got plenty of miners, digging up all this compacted steel and everything is going to be simple. Let's see how this goes. Uh, oh, very nice. <clears throat> it didn't f work, obviously, but... He went from 80% to 36. And this is a back up in three days. So let's see. We'll be back up probably around mid 40s by then. And if she has another really good one that way, he will uh, basically be at 0% and we should be able to convert him. If we're lucky. Bro, don't run. Just kill it. You're not even... You got dirt in your eyes. You're fine. Oh, we got some hypertech components. Well, let's see. He's going to go play chess. HK51 is going to haul those, and we got a goose egg. So I think this is a good spot to take a break and give it some time. We'll check back in shortly. All right, and we're back. It's been a bit of time. Uh, not too much has happened, mostly just building at this point. We got our batteries done down here. We're just getting the uh, power conduits put down. We're also slapping down a water mill generator as well as a extra means of power that does not rely on the sunlight. And then up here we got two more solar generators with, excuse me, some batteries to power our workshop. 
Uh, and then right here, we are building a nice, excuse me, sorry, I got the hiccups. Uh, we're building ourselves a nice new Mandoan uh, cathedral, I suppose you might consider it. So it's going to be very fancy, very nice, and probably put a big-ass target on our back. Um, we are on a quest to make sure that Pies here is able to get on. He's got a laser sword, too. That's pretty cool. Must be a form of lightsaber, but not quite a lightsaber. But we got a shuttle coming here to pick them up in eight hours, and... The Pantherman, which is the Hive of Scum and Villainy, is coming in to attack. So, we gotta protect them. We'll see what happens. I've also made a couple of mod changes. I saved and took a bit of a break. Um, I went ahead and added a performance analyzer to figure out what's going on with the game when it decides to go really badly in terms of FPS or TPS. So that's the thing that we're doing. Why are these guys coming to attack? I'm not sure where they're gonna come from. I think it happens when they when the shuttle arrives. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so TPS dropped. Hang on, I'm gonna figure out what caused this. We want we want this one. Let's take a look. How many patches? Awesome. We're not going to know for right now. But the FPS is dropping like a hawk. Swooping down on its prey. Androids. Looks like it's eaten up a fair chunk of resources. I might get rid of androids. Um, I know HK51 doesn't count as an android, but this guy does, so we'll probably have to wait until he's gone before we do that in order to prevent breaking the game too much. So, we'll see what happens. I guess I'll just let them go about their business for now. Uh, currently, we are researching auto doors. We get these um, hollow doors that are really cool. That we'll use for uh, a more sci-fi appearance, I think. I feel like hollow doors will give a uh, pretty good Star Wars feel, especially when we have a prison built. I have not thought of where I'm putting the prison. I'm still kind of debating on over here, but honestly, we haven't had that many raids. Like, it's been ex overly peaceful. It's kind of weird. We're at war with Death Watch, and uh, we aren't getting attacked by them. And as you can see, they're actually hostile to us now. Um, and they are expanding further and further. How is ours looking? Our settlement points are still pretty pathetic. And we got the Zabraki Empire that also don't like us. Um, which brings us to... Not pharmacist, although that's nice. Uh, brings us to this, not this, gosh. Where is it? It's the crown. Colonies. We're going to create our faction here. Clan Vash. Faction title shall be... Oh, here come the Panther men. Um, Arc Light. Actually, we, we'll cancel out of this for now because we need to deal with this raid. Uh, is it just the one? 
Is that just the one? Looks like it. Let's see how they are. Standard tunnelism. Really good at mining. They're a vat grown soldier. So they're a clone, basically. But they got a green thumb and they're a fisherman. They can't do medical or social, but that's okay. I don't need them to. If possible, we can try to capture this person. I know we don't really have a prison, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we also got all these prosthetic toes just laying out here. They're pretty badly damaged at this point. And uh, we had a shuttle crash. Another one. Uh, two, only two survivors on this one, and as you can see, one of them is walking away. Okay, Aegis, hurry up. There we go. And we got them. Okay, so... Let's see how bad they are. Their heart is destroyed. So they're, they're, they're just dead. They're, they're basically dead. We have no prosthetic hearts or anything. Aegis, you are too deadly for your own good, sadly. But that's okay. We will uh, move on and move forward from this. Uh, we also mined up a ton of steel. This whole section here was a big steel vein. And then we had another big steel vein. Caravan animals, awesome. Group of muff? What? Muff unit? Is this a robot? What is this from? Android tears. Okay. What's it got? Let's take a look. Silver medicine, some shells. Nothing great, and if I dump this androids mod then it's not even going to exist oh boy remember when I said it was very peaceful I lied let's see what do we got going on over here psychic suppressor okay We got an auto charge turret, a bunch of mini slugger turrets, a low tech shield, a couple of mech nodes. Doesn't look like we have any actual mechs here though. So that's reasonable enough. This should honestly be pretty simple to deal with because these idiots landed this kind of outside the uh, alarm here. So, I think we can have HK51 take care of this one. Does he count as mail? Let's take a look. I don't think he does. I mean, he's still angry about not having anything to do, even though there's chess, martial arts targets, horseshoes. It's not like any of that. There must be something else he wants to do. We'll f figure that out later, though. Um, is there anything on her that we want as far as her gear goes? Does not look like it. Okay. What is the range on this? Pretty far. Oh god, Winchester's gonna activate those things. Or not? Pretty weird. 
Well, they're not going to be happy when uh, HK starts blasting the psychic suppressor. Oh, the rescue shuttle has arrived. And out of this, we are getting shuttle loot. As well as a couple other handy dandy things. Uh, let's take a look. Can we, like, load on here? What are you doing? Why you no go? Alright, anyway, we're getting a pain stopper. Um, we're gonna stick it in, I think, Batista. Because I believe he is... Yeah, he's the wimp. So if we can use it to kind of negate the issue with um, his pain shock threshold, that would be great. Ideally, if we could get rid of Wimp altogether, that would be fantastic, but I don't know if we're going to be able to manage that one. There it goes. So they just load themselves up. Okay. Don't melee attack it. I just shoot it. Oh. Hit it. Oh, we got this stupid shield generator. Let's pop in through here. We should be able to hit the things now. And so far, we're doing fine. Actually, you know what? Shoot that. Oh, you know what? We're, we're going to do it anyway, probably on accident. So we might be able to use it to our advantage. Let's hit this one. Class steel is always good. Oh yeah, simple. Absolutely simple. This can go away, that can go away. Go ahead and move here. We'll just go ahead and this, get, get it out of the way. For those wondering what this plus zero is, we have a mod that will allow us to upgrade our weapons. I figured it might be cool to upgrade our armor and weapons as time goes on. It's, supposed to, it's very expensive. You might catch it in Mr. Samuel's sh pirate stream. Or I should say, uh, pirate game. And, okay, yeah. So everything's going pretty well. These guys have not betrayed me yet. That still could change. Um, this will take quite some time because these fine mahogany floors alone are taking up about 2,000 wood. But it should do wonders for the cathedral itself. If you want to call it that. I don't think cathedral is really the appropriate term for it, but... Don't melee it, just blow them up. Oh, he took a hit. It's always in that left foot. Alright, that's been dealt with.
Uh, can you prioritize hauling that? I'm not super concerned about the regular one, but that should do wonders for a mood boost. Um, I suppose for we should give this guy a badge, huh? Let's take a look. He's pretty bad at just about everything. Do we have a badge that reflects this? Not really. Um, you know what? We won't give him a badge. He doesn't deserve a badge. They haven't earned their badges yet. For that fact, neither is Skull. That's why he's got the farmer badge. Larry has proven her worth with her tending. Aegis is pretty obvious with the whole initial mech cluster that we dealt with. Or the ancient danger. Okay, come on. Let's pop this open and see if we can figure this out. If it doesn't take 12 years. We apologize if this part's a little bit boring. I might cut it out. But I would very much like to figure out what is causing terrible speeds. Oh, another transport pod. Lovely. Come on. Maybe it's this colored mood bar. Which is weird because I, I normally don't have an issue with it, but... Maybe I'll disable it and try that, see if that helps at all. Let's see what the half says here. Another android. He's just gonna land here and walk off like a champion. Um, I think this is probably a good spot to end this episode. We've gone a pretty far what, pretty far uh, amount here. I will probably let this play out a little bit longer off screen. Um, I don't think we're going to finish this, so I'm not worried about that, but I kind of want to try to get this done. But, yeah, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, you are a champion. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.